Hello everyone, welcome to my month 12 vlog. Just a recap of where we left off. I got admitted to the hospital because of my infection and I'm staying here for a few nights to treat it. Morning everyone. I'm still at the hospital, but I'm going home today. Um, so the doctor, he suggested that Dupixent would be a great medication for me to go on, which is great because that's what I initially went into the dermatology for, um, but ended up in hospital. But I'm glad that they suggested it and they, they're putting through like the applications or something, like the forms in and I filled out some forms and they're, they're processing it. But with Dupixent, you need to try other medications first for you to be eligible for it. So um, I'm on cyclosporin right now, which is an, an immunosuppressant. Um, and I actually wanted to try cyclosporin. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything's flowing. And cyclosporin is not meant to be um, taken for a long period of time. So our plan is to transition onto Dupixent after a couple of weeks, maybe on cyclosporin. And I'm still taking antibiotics as well. You can tell my infection's gone down because it's not oozy anymore. And my face isn't puffy anymore, which is great because this last 11 months of being in TSW, I barely could recognize myself in the mirror. And I always thought it was just because of my skin, but I realized a few days ago, um, looking in the mirror at the hospital while being on antibiotics and cyclosporin, that my face looked slimmer and that my eyes are bigger than usual. And um, I didn't realize till then that this whole time my, my face was puffy. So I'm really glad that I'm starting to get my face back so yeah that's what's been happening so a few days after coming out of the hospital um i went to have brunch with my mom and my dad it was one of the top things i had on my to-do list um once my skin clears up so i was really happy to be here and then the next day i found this gluten dairy refined sugar free recipe on instagram so i gave it a try and it tasted really good
now we're off to do some grocery shopping for tonight and we bought fish to make fish and chips and then we went to the grocery store to get some veggies we were still like 20 minutes away from where we were staying so we continued driving as you can see there's a lot of land and i saw like a lot of horses and cows along the way One of the first things we did once we arrived was eat watermelons. The view from the place we were like we're sitting right now is amazing. Like let me show you. I think I filmed one um that evening so you'll see but it's a it's beautiful. Once we finished eating the watermelons, we decided to go for There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine I, I just went for a dip in the ocean it was really nice. Like the last time I came to the beach, um, it was a couple of months ago, and I showed in the vlog as well. But it was such a traumatic experience because it hurt so much. Like it stung so much from head to toe that I just didn't want to do it again. But I knew the beach water was good for me. So um, now that I'm on medication and recovered a bit. Um, I thought I'd give it a go again since I'm at Jervis Bay and yeah this is day one after swimming at the beach. shopping center to buy flip-flops because I forgot to bring mine um, but it was such a beautiful day and I've just been enjoying life since my skin cleared up and I'm able to go out and do daily tasks like a normal person and really enjoy the little things <music> swimming again my goal is to swim every day for the time being hopefully my skin improves by swimming in the ocean 
because apparently it's good for you. So the night before, I don't know why, but I just couldn't sleep throughout the night and I ended up staying awake till the morning. So I got to see the sunrise with the beach from our bedroom window and it was such a beautiful moment. A few days later, I decided to make pancakes um, for breakfast. So here's me measuring gluten-free flour, putting in the ingredients, and I'm making a chocolate chip pancake, by the way. Um, and I usually use Bon Soy soy milk. It's a brand um, that I like, but we didn't have that today, unfortunately. So I'm just using another brand. I didn't end up liking it as much. But anyways, the important thing is the pancake turned out really good. Um, I actually made too many, so we had leftovers, but but it's okay. You can never have too many pancakes, right? So I'm about to go to the beach, but I'm really scared because last night I actually scratched a little bit or quite a bit. Um, I had been doing so well these couple of nights without scratching but unfortunately last night I got really itchy and I ended up scratching my chest and my cheek so I'm really scared that it's gonna sting in the salt water but I know it's gonna be good for me and it's gonna help me with healing so I'm just gonna have to deal with it um, it's more so when I get out of the beach that hurts the most. It just, um, I think the wind makes it sting more. Like when I'm in the water, it doesn't really hurt. Um, it tingles, but it's not like it's painful. But as soon as I get out or like stand up and the wind touches my skin, it starts stinging. So I'm so scared. But it's okay because I'm literally right in front of the beach so I can just run back home and take a shower which I usually have been doing these last couple of days trying to drive more often since coming down here because the roads a lot more quieter than it is in Sydney um, I'm still on my L's I'm I am 24 um, but I don't know I've just never really had the urge to get my peas because I can just take the train and my boyfriend drives so yeah but I don't want to not have a license so I've been driving here and there. Hey guys, I'm going to do acrylic painting and it's my first time ever trying this so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I went to Kmart and bought a canvas and acrylic paint and some brushes this is literally my first ever acrylic painting experience I wonder what these are 
Whoa. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try and paint what I the view from here. So we need blue. This kind of blue. This green. Actually, we just like opening up the tubes like this kind of triggers me because that's how I used to open my topical steroid creams. So this is how my painting turned out, it's not bad, but the second one I did, I love it so much. It's How from How's Moving Castle, um, it's a Ghibli movie, I love Ghibli movies. I think I just found a new hobby. I enjoyed painting this so much. We've been cooking every day together and it's um, a little fun. We are making red curry tonight. Um, red curry, green curry, like Thai food is one of my favorite foods and I've been making um, Thai curries at home lately and it tastes so good. So yeah, that's what we're making tonight. 